Hey, it's Digny. Time for a hard day's work on the construction site. But wait, what has Digly seen? <gasps> oh wow, a robot digger. I wonder what that's doing here. Johnny is going to turn the machine on. Oh, that's it. The robot looks ready to work. Now the construction vehicles are hard at work. Digley is digging a trench, but now the robot digger is here to help. Look out, Digley. The robot is digging very fast. Let's just stay out of its way. Look at the robot digger go. Dozer has to move fast to keep up. Whoa, the robot digger has finished its job already. <gasps> oh, poor Diggly. He feels useless now that the robot has done his job for him. What's this? A drip of water has hit the robot. I don't think the robot is waterproof. Oh no, it's going haywire. It's smashing up all the construction sites. Somebody needs to stop it. Diggly and Dozer are jumping into action. Dozer is holding the robot back. But he can't hold it forever. Quick, Diggly. Phew! The robot is off. Well done, Diggly and Dozer. You saved the day. But what can we do with the robot now? It's a very hot day today. Oh, Diggly has turned the robot digger into a robot fan. How very clever of him. It's the construction crew, hard at work building the foundations for a brand new building. Uh-oh, I think it's going to rain. I don't like the look of those storm clouds. Time to get cover. Wait, there's Scout. Watch out, Scout. She's skidding. Careful, Daisy. Oh dear, oh dear. Daisy accidentally hit the girders. Look out, everyone. The whole thing is falling down. Oh no. Scout is trapped down that pit with the girders on top. You have to get her out quick, guys, before the rainwater fills the pit up. I think Diggly is going to move the girders first. Wait, careful. Those girders could fall on top of Scout. That was a close one. I think CJ the cement mixer has an idea. Oh, I see. If we use cement to stick all the girders together, we can drag them out in one go. Clever. Go on, Dozer. Drag those heavy girders out of the way. Great, now the girders are gone. It's up to Diggly and Johnny to dig Scout a way out. Hurry up, guys. The water is getting deeper. You can do it. Diggly and Johnny are digging as fast as they can. Almost there. There, you did it. Scout can drive out now. Well done, Diggly and Johnny. You saved the day in the nick of time. And look now, the sun is coming out again. Good job, everyone. See you again next time. It's the construction crew. Hard at work as usual. Good work, Diggly and Johnny. Hmm, I wonder what's in that crate. Whoa, a yellow circle. A red triangle and a blue square. Mm. Oh. Diggly is right. The blue square will fit at the bottom of the tower. Go on, guys. Put it in place. Look out, Dozer. Oh, well, the square is in place at least. Here comes CJ. A little cement. And it's a door. I don't think Dozer liked being shut inside. Now the red triangle. Where does that belong? Aha! At the top of the flagpole. Go on, Diggly. Raise the flag. 
There. Well done, Diddly. Now just the yellow circle to go. I wonder where that goes. Oh, it's a clock, which means it belongs at the very top of the clock tower. Somebody will have to go all the way up there. Be brave, Diggly. It's high up, but you can do it. Ready, everyone? Heave! <gasps> up and up we go. Don't look down, Diggly. Almost there. Keep pulling. There. Careful, Diggly. Just gently put the clock in place. Well done. You did it. What a brave little digger Diggly is. See you next time. Hey look, it's all the construction vehicles. Looks like they're repairing the road by Old McDonald's farm. See? Diggly and CJ are filling the pit with fresh concrete. Cool. What is it, Diggly? Huh? Oh no! The barn is on fire! Huh? Oh, phew! Here comes Ashley the fire truck! Wait! Ashley, look out! The concrete is still wet! Oh no! Ashley's got stuck in the concrete! How will we put the fire out now? Huh? Johnny and Dozer are trying to get Ashley out. But be careful, guys. You'll get stuck too. Oh, no. The fire is still burning. What are we going to do? Wait a minute. I think Diggly has an idea. Wow. They're going to use all those pipes to form one long pipe. <laughs> then they're going to point it at the barn. And then go, Ashley! The water is travelling all the way down the pipe. There, the fire is put out. Way to go, Diggly! Now Diggly is digging Ashley out of the concrete. Everything is safe and sound now. Good job, everyone. <laughs> it's the construction crew. They're finishing their work on a new tunnel. Uh-oh. What's that sound? There's been a huge explosion down the mountain. Look, huge rolling snowballs. It's an avalanche. CJ tells the other workers to get inside the tunnel for safety. Dozer pushes Johnny in, there's no time to waste. Diggly rushes to Daisy and tells her to get into the tunnel. The two get in just in time and the snow crashes down behind them. It's really dark in the tunnel. Diggly grabs a lantern and goes to investigate the snowed in entrance. It looks too thick to dig through. Even Johnny can't dig through it. Diggly starts investigating the rest of the tunnel. He can spot something up ahead. There are some train carriages on the tracks. The tracks lead deeper into the tunnel. Diggly thinks that they can get on the train and escape out the other end of the tunnel. The construction crew have all jumped on the train. Dozer is nervous to be at the front. Johnny gives them a push and they're off! Whoa! It's like a giant roller coaster! Look at them go! Whoosh! This looks like fun! Uh oh! There is a snow blockage that they're going to crash into! Construction crew burst through the snow. They're outside and safe. Good 
job, Diggly and Dozer. Hey, it's Diggly. Time for a hard day's work on the construction site. But wait, what has Diggly seen? <gasps> oh wow, a robot digger. I wonder what that's doing here. Johnny is going to turn the machine on. Oh, that's it. The robot looks ready to work. Now the construction vehicles are hard at work. Diggly is digging a trench, but now the robot digger is here to help. Look out, Diggly. The robot is digging very fast. Best to stay out of its way. Look at the robot digger go. Dozer has to move fast to keep up. Whoa, the robot digger has finished its job already. <gasps> oh, poor Diggly. He feels useless now that the robot has done his job for him. What's this? A drip of water has hit the robot. I don't think the robot is waterproof. Oh no, it's going haywire. It's smashing up all the construction sites. Somebody needs to stop it. Diggly and Dozer are jumping into action. Dozer is holding the robot back. But he can't hold it forever. Quick, Diggly. Phew, the robot is off. Well done, Diggly and Dozer. You saved the day. But what can we do with the robot now? It's a very hot day today. Oh, Diggly has turned the robot digger into a robot fan. How very clever of him. Look, it's Diggly. I think he wants to lift that big girder. There's Johnny. He has no problem lifting heavy loads. He's tall and strong. But Diggly is only little. And that girder is very heavy. Oh, Diggly can't reach high enough. Poor Diggly. Here's Dozer. He wants to cheer Diggly up. Being big and strong isn't everything. Everybody has different things they're good at. There's no need to be upset. I think Diggly has a plan. He's got a barrel. And Dozer has a plank of wood. Now Diggly's up on the roof. Dozer's put a crate of bricks on the plank. Is it a seesaw? Oh, I see. It's a catapult. They can use it to bounce bricks up onto the roof. Very clever, Diggly. Johnny is still lifting the heavy bricks up onto the roof. But look, Diggly can bounce them up easily. He's using his brain to solve a problem. Look, now Daisy wants a turn. It's so much fun using Diggly's new invention. They'll have moved all the bricks in no time. Diggly may not be the strongest or the tallest, but he can be a very big help if he tries hard. <laughs> well done, Diggly. It's a bright sunny day at the construction HQ. Aw, Bump hasn't quite woken up yet. He doesn't Ooh. like things. Here are today's plans. Ooh. They're going to build a pond. Ooh. How exciting. This will be so much fun. First, it's up to Diggly to dig the hole. Good job, Diggly. Next, Bump pushes the dirt away and Daisy puts some stones around the edge of the pond. Great. Now all that's left is to fill it up with water. Better get out of the way, Diggly. Bump's turned on the tap and the water runs through the hose. Hmm, Daisy doesn't like that stone. Oh no, 
the stone landed on the hose. Now the water can't get through. Quick, they need to do something. Daisy's got an idea. She's going to hit the stone. Splash! Uh-oh. Now the hose has sprung a leak. The water is spraying everywhere. But Mrs. Skip knows what to do. They can use a band-aid to stick the hole shut. There. Good job, everyone. Now the water can flow again. Mr. Rubble wonders where the water's got to. Oops. Mr. Rubble has ended up in the pond. But that's okay. He thinks it's funny too. Splash! Great work, guys! <laughs> it's a brand new day at Construction HQ. And everyone's excited to start work. But Mr. Rubble looks so tired. Oops. Daisy didn't mean to knock over all the plans. Mm. There, today's mm. plans. <gasps> but something's wrong. Huh? That playhouse doesn't look <sighs> right. <sighs> oh well, if that's what the plans say, that's what they'll build. Now everyone's hard at work. But oh dear, Mr. Rubble is so mm -hmm. sleepy. Surely no one will notice if he has a short nap. Oh. But Diggly can't figure this out. Something is definitely wrong with these plans. But what is it? There, the playhouse is nearly finished. They just need a few finishing touches. But oh no, it doesn't stand up properly. This isn't right at all. Here's Mrs. Skip. Looks like she's trying to say something. Hmm, that sign can spin upside down. That's it. The playhouse plans are upside down. That's why it looks all wrong. Now there's just one thing left to do. Three, two, one, jump! There! That woke Mr. Rubble up. But the playhouse is the right way up now. Good job, everyone! The whole construction crew are getting ready for today's job. They're building that crumbly old building. That can't be right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're demolishing the building. <gasps> Daisy is so excited. Soon enough, it's time to get to work. <laughs> the building looks like it could fall down any moment. It'll be safer to knock it down. Uh. Everyone is ready to get started. But wait, stop everyone. There's a little kitten beside it. Oh no, the kitten could get hurt if they knock it down now. Phew, Diggly stopped them just in time. They need to get the kitten out of harm's way. She's so cute. Ooh, I think Mr. Rubble's afraid of cats. The kitten ran back inside. Oh dear. They can't knock down the building with the kitten inside. Diggly's trying to get her to come out with some milk. Daisy wants to pet the kitten, but Diggly thinks that will frighten her. Oh no, Daisy accidentally hit the building. I think it's going to collapse, but the cat is still inside. What will they do? Maybe Mr. Rubble can help, but he'll have to face his fear of cats. <gasps> Mr. Rubble is small enough to fit inside. Phew, Mr. Rubble saved the kitten. And just in time, that was a close one. 
Mr. Rubble was very brave to rescue the kitten. I think he's got over his fear of cats now. He's made a friend. Ooh, Diggly has a new book. Everyone wants to see. It's all about dinosaurs. But Mr. Rubble is waiting. It's time to start work. Today they're building a roundabout. Soon everyone is hard at work. Diggly just wants to read his book. But now isn't the time. There's work to do. Wait, what's Diggly found? It looks like some old bones. I wonder what they are. Daisy's collecting them up. There are so many. Oh, I think they're dinosaur bones. Now they just need to put them together like a jigsaw puzzle. Everyone is helping put the dinosaur bones together. Done. Uh, that doesn't look right. Oh dear, they'll have to try again. What about now? Nope, that's not right either. But wait, on the front cover, that's it. It's a T-Rex skeleton. Now they know what it is, they can put it together properly. Nice work, everyone. <laughs> now it can stand in the middle of the roundabout. Mr. Rubble is heading off for a much needed holiday. So today's building work is up to Diggly and Daisy. And today they need to build a brick wall. That looks pretty easy. Time to get started. Daisy thinks they should start the wall here. Oh, Diggly doesn't think so. He thinks they should start here. Daisy doesn't agree. Maybe they could start in the middle. Diggly and Daisy disagree. They're not going to work together. And poor CJ is stuck in the middle. Diggly and Daisy are each going to build their own wall the way they think it should be built. Each of them wants their wall to be the best. They're building faster and faster. Poor CJ is struggling to keep up with all the cement they need. Something is wrong. They've been so focused on their own walls that now they've trapped themselves in. Hmm, this is no good. But I think Daisy has an idea. Yes, Diggly agrees. They shouldn't fight. They should work together to fix the problem. Daisy has knocked her bit of the wall down. Now Diggly is knocking his down too. There, now they can start over again. But this time, Diggly and Daisy will work together and build one big wall that'll be nice and strong. They put all the bricks in place. Hooray! The wall is finished. Daisy's happy with it. And so is Diggly. Good teamwork, guys. CJ is so happy they're friends again. Build a course for crazy golf. Crazy golf, crazy golf. Build a course for Crazy Golf with Diggly and Daisy. <laughs> Mr. Rubble gives a try, takes a swing, lets it fly. Ball goes up, then it comes down, it zooms in the loop, spinning round and round. Build a course for crazy golf, crazy golf, crazy golf. Build 
Would you cause me crazy? Go no. with the play and daisy. Oh. Flies out, watch it land. Mr. Apple, use your skill, it's heading for the big windmill. Build a cost for crazy golf, crazy golf, crazy golf. Build a cost for crazy golf with Diggly and Daisy. Let's go. All goes high, all goes low. Pings around, it's lots of fun. Diggly got a hole in one. Build a cost for crazy golf. Crazy golf, crazy golf. Build a cost for crazy golf with Diggly and Daisy. It's a really sunny day at Construction HQ. All the crew are having fun playing with a beach ball. Ha, nice one, Mr. Rubble. Now today, they're putting up some traffic lights. In no time at all, they're nearly done. Daisy's just putting the last traffic light up. And now Diggly has to plug them in. There, the lights are all turning on. Oh, they've gone out. Back at HQ, Mr. Rubble's playing with the ball. What's happening to the lights? Now Mr. Rubble is stuck in the dark. Hmm, the power has all gone. That's very strange. Here's the electricity cable. It looks okay. I wonder where it leads. Diggly's going to follow it. Mr. Rubble is still stuck in the dark. Diggly and Daisy are following the cable all through the construction site. Oops! It's leading them right through this muddy puddle. Yuck! And even under this archway. Look out, Daisy! But where does it lead? Look! An electricity generator. Look at all that smoke. It must have broken down. That's why the power cut out. How will they get electricity now? Wait, I think Daisy has a plan. The sun. They can use solar panels to make power from the sunshine. Very clever, guys. Daisy puts the last one in place. With all those panels, they should have lots of power. CJ's trying the switch. Hooray! The lights are back on. It worked. Good job. Oh. Mr. Rubble has got into a real mess while he was stuck in the dark. <laughs> it's another sunny day at Construction HQ. I wonder what they're building today. Oh nice, a barn. This looks like a good spot to start building. First, they need to lay these planks down. Ha ha! Nice one, Bum. But what's this? A bunny? Oh no! They're building the barn all over the bunny's home. But I don't think the crew have noticed. The bunnies are definitely not happy. What are they going to do? This bunny has jumped up onto the bricks. What is she doing? She's trying to take one of the bricks. Oh, here comes Bump. I don't think he noticed the bunny. Now Daisy has put some pipes down. And that bunny has pushed them over. And now the bunny has taken that pipe. What are they up to? Now Diggly is laying out his tools. But one of the bunnies is moving his hammer. And now they're moving his screwdriver too. Diggly doesn't get it. Where did his tools go? 
The whole construction crew are very confused. How do things keep going missing? It's such a mystery. Wait! Now they know the bunnies are the ones moving everything. But why? Oh, they've moved everything into another field. They want the crew to build the barn over there instead, so it's not on top of their rabbit holes. Now Daisy gets it. Now the crew have moved all the building materials into the other field, just like the bunnies wanted. In no time at all, the barn is all finished, all good in the new field. The bunnies are so happy. Well done, team. It's a very windy day at Construction HQ. I wonder what they'll be building today. Oh wow, the towpath for the canal. That looks amazing. To build a towpath, they'll need paving slabs. Here comes Rocky the riverboat to deliver them. Oh, it is windy today. Rocky loves to listen to music on his big headphones. There, now to unload the slabs. Gently there. Thanks, Rocky. Now the crew can get to work on the towpath. But the wind is picking up. Oh no! Mr. Robble's hat. It's landed on the back of Rocky. Not to worry. Mrs. Skip can get it. She's even trying it on. Oh no! Rocky is sailing on. But he doesn't realise Mrs. Skip is still on the back. Come back, Rocky. He can't hear them because of his big headphones. What's Mrs. Skip going to do? She can't get carried off down the river. Who knows where she'll end up? They have to get Rocky's attention somehow. Watch where you're going, Mr. Rubble. Oops, Mr. Rubble hit a box. Diggly is racing ahead to try and stop Rocky. Maybe he can get his attention with this ball. Good thing Mrs. Skip has the helmet. Hmm, what's Daisy up to? She's brought the stack of slabs. I wonder what her plan is. She's hopping up on top. Hooray! She saved Mrs. Skip. She's back on dry land, safe and sound. Phew. Later on and the towpath is almost finished. Rocky is drifting past again, still listening to his music. He never knew anything was wrong. It's another windy day at Construction HQ. That wind really is blowing today. But today they're building a bigger enclosure for the sheep at the farm. Oh dear. The old sheep enclosure is far too small. Good job they're building a new one. That wind really is cold. And whoa, strong as well. But wait, what's Diggly seeing? Look, it's an old farm windmill, but it's wobbling all over the place in the wind. I think it's going to collapse. They have to stop it falling onto the sheep. Phew, good job, Daisy. Now it's falling towards the pigs. Uh-oh, look out. Phew, Daisy saved us again. Now it's falling back towards the sheep again. Oh dear. This is no good at all. What are they going to do? Wait, I think Diggly has an idea. Hmm, Diggly's climbed up on a box. He's taken the wheel off the top. Ah, he's taking the old tower apart from the top down, so it can't fall over and hurt anyone. In no time at all, they've taken the tower apart. Now what can they do with all these planks of wood? They can recycle all the old planks from the tower and use them to build a bigger pen for the sheep. It's always good to build something new out of something old, instead of throwing things away. There, now the sheep have a much bigger place to play. Good job everyone! It's still a bit windy. Uh oh, Mr Rubble's hat! One of the sheep has it. Now he's got to get it. Look, today the construction crew are going to build a canal. That will be great fun. First they need to dig a trench for the water. 
Bump and CJ want to help, but looks like Diggly and Daisy have it covered. Maybe they don't need Bump and CJ. In no time at all, the trench is dug. Good job, everyone. Daisy's ready. And smash. Here comes the water. It'll reach Diggly and Mr. Rubble any second. Any second. Where is it? There must be a blockage somewhere. Diggly's taking a look. Look, it's spilling out over there. Quick, Daisy needs to fix it. Oh dear, how will they plug this gap? <gasps> CJ, of course. She can use her cement to fix the leak. Good job, everyone. But now look, that rock is blocking the canal. That rock is too heavy for Daisy to move. But here comes Bump. He can move that. Hooray! Good work. There, at last the water has filled up the canal. They couldn't have done it without CJ and Bump's help. Good teamwork. It's a new day at the construction site. I wonder what they'll build today. Ooh! Mr. Rubble says they're going to build a car wash. Amazing! Everyone's working as a team to build the car wash. Now they just need to add soap. Oh dear! That barrel doesn't look like soap. But Bump hasn't noticed. Here's Mr. Rubble to take a look. Oh dear, he's all dirty. Not to worry, he can get all clean in the new car wash. Uh, oh dear, something's gone wrong. It turned Mr. Rubble green. I don't think he's noticed. They can't let him look in the mirror. Diggly's investigating. There's the problem. Bump put paint in the car wash, not soap. They'll need to paint Mr. Rubble back to the right colour. Splosh! Daisy splashed Mr. Rubble with mud. Now he'll need to use the car wash again. In Mr. Rubble goes. Oh no, now Mr. Rubble is blue. Quick! They need to stop him before he looks in the mirror. Splash! Nice work, Daisy. Now he needs to use the car wash again. Diggly's putting in another paint can. I hope this is the right colour. Into the car wash Mr. Rubble goes. Phew, he's back to his normal colour at last and squeaky clean too. Thank goodness. Looking good, Mr. Rubble. Good job, everyone. Look, it's the town zoo. And there's Bandit Bus. What's he up to this time? Oh no, he's unlocking the zoo doors. <laughs> and now he's opening them. The zoo animals might escape. Oh dear, that baby lion has just got out. Hey, it's Diggly and Daisy driving along the road. And there's Tony the truck. Hi, Tony. They've all got work to do. Tony's on his way to deliver some boxes. Look, the baby lion. Tony is scared. He's running away. Oh. Diggly and Daisy wonder what he's running from. Hmm. Oh. The baby lion is still there. Diggly and Daisy are frightened. Mm. Lions can be dangerous. Oh. But they can't just leave him to roam free. He needs to go back to the zoo. 
I think Ooh. Digny has a plan. Look, a toy mouse on a string. The baby lion is chasing it. He'll follow it anywhere. Oh, I see. Digly and Daisy are pulling the string. They're going to use it to lead the baby lion all the way back to the zoo. Ooh. Oops. Daisy's knocked the sign. Now they don't know which way the zoo is. Maybe it's this way? Oh dear, they've gone round in a circle. Well, maybe it's this way. Oh. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh no, the baby lion has caught up. But wait, he doesn't seem so scary. He just wants to play. <laughs> there, the baby lion is back at the zoo safe and sound. Good job, Diggly and Daisy.